Hey, a cute and obtuse <clears throat> Rusty Miner coming at you with another knife science video. Today, <clears throat> we're going to talk about the angle of your edge. Okay, how, what should you sharpen your knives at? All right, now that depends, a lot of that depends on the thickness behind the edge. So when they're talking about that, you can see, you know, the edge here. How thick is it? And it's going to be measured in thousands on a lot of these knives. Well, how thick it is, it's going to depend largely on how thick your blade stock is and the type of a grind. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to talk about the type of grinds in another video. But let's, for the right now, let's just kind of take a look at the thickness of the blade and we'll talk about um, the benefits of different different ones here so I did a little research and uh, this I didn't measure these angles guys but when you have a smaller angle like 10 degrees that's what your razor blades are at okay and then I don't know I just kind of guesstimated but 15 degrees I think 14 is what I saw a lot of your kitchen knives at. And if you get into the 17 degrees, a lot of people will do 20, 23, maybe 25, even 30. I think axes are in that 30 or 40 range. Well, why are axes in that 30 or 40 range? Well, they don't need to cut with precision. They need, so the, the bigger the angle, Usually that you get more longevity. You can use it for more heavy duty. So if this were 25, that's where I'm gonna sharpen, for example, my Schrade fixed blade, uh, more of a bushcraft kind of a knife and keep that thing um, to hold this edge, okay? Uh, a very common, a lot of knife companies will sharpen at a 20 degree uh, on their pocket knives. And then I like to sharpen some of my knives at 17. So these are kind of the two that we're sticking out with the pocket knives. So with that in mind, I'm always sharpening my Kershaw at 20. Okay, and I read online that they recommend 18 to 20. And since my uh, angle guide I have a 17 and a 20. I'm doing it at 20. Another reason I'm doing it at 20 is because this is a 8CR13 MOV. Well, what does that have to do with your angle? Well, the 8CR13 MOV does not hold, doesn't have a reputation for holding an edge well. So when I come, I haven't sharpened this one yet, but when I do, it's going to get a 20 degree angle because it's also your 8CR. This one might be a 14. It could be a 13 or 14 um, CO, CRV or MOV. Now, my Gonzo is D2. My Gonzo is a flat grind coming down here. It's got some good thinness behind the edge. And this one is done at the hardware store. So I'm not sure. But if uh, when this one's ready, I kind of just did that hardware store just to get past all that acid wash. Remember, get a new edge on there. Uh, I'm going to put a 17 degree on angle on this when it comes time to, uh, to sharpen. And I'm guessing that they probably did about a 20 at the hardware store. However, take a look at the rake. Okay. Oh, I forgot the model number. 662 okay and this one is also a flat grind okay the, the grind on this one comes all the way to the top it's good and thin behind the edge and so I'm going to do this one it's 14 C 28 N and that's a step above your Chinese steel your 8 CR 13 so I'm going to do this one at 17 when it's time uh, I think with uh, A.G. Russell, we have something known as a hollow grind, so it's nice and thin also, and it's BG-10. BG-10 has a reputation. It's a little 
higher end steel. So this one's going to get a 17. So that's just some food for thought, guys. You want to do your camping knives, maybe around 20 degrees. A lot of your pocket knives, uh, excuse me, camping knives in that 25, 23 degree angles. Pocket knives are good at 20 degree angles. Um, and then when you start going down from there, you better have a more premium type steel. Your S35 BNs, your S90s. Stuff like that. If you get into the lower angles, what will happen is you just start to, they just go dull faster, right? Remember we talked in the last video about the Apex? Well, the Apex, you're going to lose that because it's, it hasn't have a, a lot of meat behind it. The more, the thicker your angle, so to speak, the more meat, more metal you got behind it. So keep that in mind. Keep your angles consistent. Like. Uh, the video subscribe and we'll be back with some more knife science videos thanks guys bye